Every place, every organization, every person has a story. Arizona's story is one rich in tradition with majestic beauty around almost every corner. Along with the boundless wonder are stories of opportunity. Opportunities to help the one in three children that do not know if they will have dinner tonight or the one in seven seniors who are unaware of where their next meal will come from. It is our mission for their stories to have happy endings. This is the story of St. Mary's Food Bank Alliance. More than food, hope. I'm Manny and this is my story. I'm Jennifer and this is my story. This is my story. This is my story. My story. My story. My story. My story. I'm Shannon and this is my story. When I need St. Mary's is around the end of the month when my food stamps aren't there anymore. If St. Mary's food bank didn't exist, it would be very sad. I don't know where I'd get my next meal if St. Mary's didn't exist. St. Mary's Food Bank Alliance is the world's first food bank. In 1967, John Van Hengel was volunteering at a soup kitchen when he asked a client what she did to feed her kids when they were not open. She discussed the food in the dumpsters behind grocery stores, and John had an idea. What if those with excess could deposit food and those who need it could withdraw, like a bank? a food bank. In that first year, St. Mary's fed approximately 250,000 people. Now, St. Mary's feeds approximately 250,000 people per day. St. Mary's has grown from serving a small area in central Phoenix to covering roughly two-thirds of the state of Arizona. Community Kitchen is more than a culinary program, it's a life program. People with barriers to employment are given a 16-week course on culinary and life skills in order to be self-sufficient. Make sure it's straight. So my story started off with me making a couple mistakes in my life. I knew that I needed to rectify those mistakes for, for my family, so I was introduced to the Community Kitchen. Now, through the Community Kitchen, I, I graduated in 2010, I'm sorry, 2011 and I went to the Billmore, um, the Billmore Fashion Square and I became a great line cook. From there the community kitchen uh, followed me and they found and they saw that I was doing good so they uh, they invited me back to be the kitchen assistant and then from there three years later now I'm the food service supervisor. 60, two times, two is four so that would be 40. Yes. I would say my favorite thing about community kitchen is the students. Uh, when the students first come in, you know they don't—they're not—they're not sure of themselves, or they're not—they're not knowing what to expect. But at the end of the program, when they learn all the cooking techniques and all the technical stuff in the back of the house, and then they leave and they get a job and they come back, then they say, you know, hey, I just got a raise for uh, from line cook to prep cook or prep cook to line cook, um, and also um, I just bought a car or you know, hey, you know what, I just got my own apartment. The Kids Cafe program offers a late afternoon meal to children who very well may have gone without. Our community kitchen students make 1,000 hot meals, and our volunteers in surprise create another 4,000 cold meals. This nutritious food rolls up in our trucks Monday through Friday to help make an impact on an immediate need. We have expanded our efforts to help those in need that cannot gain access to one of our emergency food box locations. An example of our mobile pantry programs includes loads of fresh produce and breads at a primary school once a month. You can see dozens of neighborhood families awaiting this much needed and nutritious food. This scene is playing out in countless communities throughout Arizona as this program has grown to more than 40 sites in both rural and urban locations, bringing perishable food directly to neighborhoods with the greatest needs. The food bank helps me get through the month. I only get $81 worth of food stamps, and that isn't enough to buy a whole thing of groceries. It means a, a lot to me. I don't know what I'd do with that.
Our volunteers are amazing. If you broke down the amount of hours they give to St. Mary's, it would more than double our staff. We simply would not exist as a food bank without the help our volunteers provide. St. Mary's Food Bank's mission is to alleviate hunger through the gathering and distribution of food while encouraging self-sufficiency, collaboration, advocacy, and education. Our mission is also our story. At the end of the day, we want everyone we serve to know it's about more than food. It's about hope.